In this session we shall see the design of highway with multiple cross sections. The design is based on the alignment of the center line of the road passing through the center of the median or central verge of the dual carriageway road cross section. The main screen is opened, select working folder work located on the desktop. Next select file menu option new, and then, new open multiple section highway widening project. As the workspace opens the current selected tab is create project, the project name is highway widening project. Survey data type is total station, we click on button open tutorial example data and the data is loaded. In this workspace we can open a previous design only if it was done earlier with this workspace. Any other project data file cannot be opened to process in this workspace. Next, we select the tab process survey data, the current page is for step 1 ground model. UTM data conversion is not selected here, we click on button create ground model. The list of all the survey features are displayed. We select the desired color for all the features and draw the ground model. Next, we select page for step 2 triangulation, select all the survey features and process triangulation. As the process is over we select page for step 3 contour. We create the contour model and save the contour model in the model files. Next we draw the contour model and the contours are displayed. Next, we select tab highway widening and the current page is for step 4 for design of horizontal alignment of the center line of the road. We select the option process Halen design data. The design data is displayed and we click on proceed. The design is done and the design report is written in file halenment.rep. Next we click on button view Halen design for string M001 and display shenage and details on the alignment string. Next we select step 5 to mention the widening pattern whether on left or right side or concentric widening and the distances of center lines of new left and right carriageways from design string M001. And also select different cross sections to apply from various Shenage to Shenage sections as selected from the typical cross section types.
and we click the button Save Sedol Data and Process. The process box comes with list of operations in proper sequence. The data related to each operation is displayed at the lower part of the process box. Any modification if done, the button update is to be clicked. Now we click on button proceed to run various processes one after another. Some processes appear twice for center lines of both left and right carriageways. Next we select step 6 for design of vertical profiles of the center lines for both left and right carriageways. The currently selected tab is vertical profile optimization data. This will automatically design the vertical profile of the carriageway center line over the existing road with thickness for pavement overlay and on the widening side with new pavement structure. We click on button process data and the process box comes with a list with set of processes in proper sequence by following the widening schedule defined earlier. Click on proceed to start the process one after another. and finally click on button finish. Next, we select the tab for design vertical profile, we click on button draw ground long section and the profiles of existing surface at the center lines of carriageways on the either side are displayed. Next, we select the option process via line design data. The via line data are displayed for either side profile and we click on button proceed. The design is done for center lines of either side carriageway and the design report is written in file via alignment.rep. Next, we draw both the design vertical profiles. We display the grid and vertical details along the design string M001. The center lines of left and right carriageways are designed with optimization techniques to keep the cost minimum. We draw the ground long section. Next we select step 7 to define cross section, interface, and create cross section. The current page is to define cross section dimensions for median or central verge, main carriageways, earthen shoulders or sidewalks, left and right service roads as applicable by following the typical cross section type sedol for various shenage sections as done in the last step. We can change values for various items as desired.
We click on button Save Data. Next, we select the page interface to create data for stepped embankment slopes on left and right hand sides in cut and fill situations. The interface strings will be created as string I001 along the inner edges of the carriageways. I002 along the outer edges of the carriageways. Next, we select the page to create cross section, we click on button process cross section data. The process box comes with list of batch processes in proper sequence. We click on button proceed to process each step with the related data as displayed in the lower part of the process box. Every time we click on button yes, to draw the strings after all the processes are over and Finally we click the button finish. The entire design is now displayed on the plan window of the screen. We click on button create cross section drawings. As the process is over we select a desired shenage from the list of shenage sections to view the plan and the related cross section.
Next we select step 8 to define pavement layers separately for the left and right carriageways of the main road and the service roads. Select each cross section type SIDL, click on button load default data, click on button save and finally click on button finish. The data is displayed for pavement layers in main carriageways and service roads for various Shenage sections. Click on button process data. Next we click on button process data to create the pavement layers in the road cross sections. Next, we select step 9 for estimation of quantities for earthwork and pavement layers. The default data is displayed on the screen. We can make modifications in various values, if so is desired. We click on button process data and may click on draw mass hall diagram, if the vertical profile goes through both cut and fill sections. Next, we select step 10 to create project drawings for construction. The first page is for alignment schematics. We click on button process data and the drawings are created for horizontal and vertical alignments in two successive processes. Next. We select the page plan to create plan drawing for various strings listed in the box. Next, we select the page profile to create profile drawing for various strings listed in the box. The start and end shenichs are already displayed by taking from the previous design steps. The default length of road per sheet is always for the full length of the road alignment. This may be changed to 1000, in case the length of 1 km per sheet is desired. The horizontal scale is to be given suitably to fit the drawing to the length of the drawing sheet. The vertical scale should be one-tenth of the horizontal scale. We click on button process data to create the drawings. Next, select the page cross section to create cross section drawings at a given interval for the given length of the road. The start shenage, end shenage, scale, sheet size and other data are given in the page. We can modify the data if so is desired. We click on button, process data and a set of cross section drawings are created. Finally, we select step 11 to view various data files, design report files and design drawings now available with us. Click on button Create Update Project Data File. We can view the project data file, survey data file and design report files by using respective buttons.
we can view the design drawings in the CAD viewer by selecting from the list in the CAD viewer and save the drawings by selecting a desired format. This is the end of the current session for the design of multiple section highway widening and we close the workspace by saving the project data file. Thank you for using Heads Pro.